what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to talk about the news that not really news but <laughs> we're going to talk about david arquette not being someone we can go to in regards to getting any information so it seems like we will not be getting anything out of david arquette we won't be getting anything out of the filmmakers involved and screen five is under lock and key david arquette david arquette recently had a interview some type of deal he had with uh the associated press website and he had an interview where he's basically sitting down and like dressed like a cowboy and he went over some details about his contract regarding the upcoming screen film that we know is being held by the creators the directors rather of ready or not he said this he said they announced it the contract that they sent me literally i think it has ghostface comes to your house if you break it so basically if he says anything jokingly in his contract now how 100 percent true this is who knows he's saying that ghostface it says in his contract ghostface will kill him if he spills even once even one any teensy bit of possible spoilers for this project or anything even remotely sounding like hinting at what direction this movie is going because we still do not know if this is going to be a 100 percent sequel to scream 4 we don't know if it's going to ignore certain films we don't know if it's going to be a sequel to scream from 1996 we have no idea where this is going so the fact that he said that and then he went on to say that it's an intense contract so i'm not really sure what i'm allowed to say or talk about but i'm really excited to be a part of it and really excited to get together with kevin williamson who who has blessed it and these incredible new filmmakers so i don't know i've got such a big mouth that i can't talk about anything so it doesn't really sound like he can't say 100 percent anything about the project he's uncertain of where he might cross the line and he's he not he doesn't want to cross that cross that bridge because of the fact that he knows he has a big mouth so i don't think we're gonna get anything out of david arquette unfortunately we all know he plays the role of dewey riley in the screen movies we won't be getting anything out of him we haven't been getting anything out of our filmmakers all we've been getting is videos from me and everybody else in the horror community horror community because speculating we will continue to speculate we will continue to make i'll continue rather to make videos like this i know you guys love just talking about the scream the scream project that we have coming our way i'm going to continue making videos about this any tiny bit of details that come out i will make a video about it doesn't mean it's uh going to be always a, a news video for the most part a lot of my videos since we found out that the movie was supposed to be filming and we have Nev Campbell and talks a lot of my videos are basically at this point a lot of theories and discussion videos so the fact that he said he's not David Arquette said he's not going to tell us tell us much out of the fact that he doesn't know if he can say anything uh, that kind of is disappointing to me because I don't know when we're going to find anything out about this project we don't know that much other than the fact of who our filmmakers are we know who's writing the script now we still don't know what direction the script is going in and I feel like that's what everyone is waiting for now I've, and also what's contributing to this probably is the fact that they aren't even 100% sure if they will even be allowed to film still later this fall. That's what they're planning to do. North Carolina, though, isn't even isn't even letting movies begin production just yet. I haven't heard anything about North Carolina letting movies start up production again. I know Georgia has. I believe they're getting ready to start things in the UK. Things are heating up in several different states, but nothing's coming out of North Carolina. California, I believe, is another state that's letting production start up again. Hollywood is still trying to figure out ways to reopen, and all these states are trying to figure out ways to let the uh, film productions continue with the CDC guidelines and, of course, adhering to ways to prevent the outbreak from spreading more. And you got to wonder, will this outbreak lead to a lot of the potential returning cast members like a Nev Campbell or Courtney Cox? Will that lead to them saying, I don't want to do this because they don't want to take that risk of with this outbreak going home to their families and getting them sick? And that'd be very unfortunate to have Screen 5 put on hold because of this outbreak and not a lot of the cast members being uncertain about doing the project safely and not wanting to get sick or take it home to their families after they're done or just take the risk of getting anyone on set sick while filming this movie. So I'm really disappointed that it seems like we won't have anything coming anytime soon for right now because we haven't heard anything for months. We still don't know if Nev Campbell will be back. We don't know if Courtney Cox will be back. We don't know if Hayden Pantier is going to be back. 
so much we still want to know and it feels like we're probably going to be waiting till closer to the fall to find out because they probably don't want to build up all this hype for a movie that's going to be postponed as far as its production is concerned now if the movie had gone into production i feel like we would be finding out things left and right they're still in the process of negotiating things they have all the time in the world to take to negotiate with Nev Campbell, to negotiate anything with any other cast members they want to bring back with this pandemic that we're stuck in, unfortunately. So another thing that came out today was Elise Neal. She kind of, um, she said she would love to return to the franchise. Uh, Elise Neal, a lot of you know her as Hallie from Scream 2. She said that she would love to come back and star in the movie. But here's, here's the thing. She she didn't necessarily say she wants her character to come back to life because I feel like a lot of people they get that misconstrued. If at all possible, if that's what they if that's what it came down to, she says she would be 100 percent down for the court. Of course, she's she's down to return to the screen franchise. Again, we still don't know what type of format this movie will take. The only way I can see Hallie coming back in a new screen movie is if Screen Five took the Wes Craven's New Nightmare approach, and we have our in our in world actors playing themselves being stalked by a ghost face killer that is set in the fictional fictional reality of this world while they're trying to film screen five and takes on that new nightmare type of vibe why at least neil would be there i still don't understand that how she would factor in even in that even in that sense i'm not really too sure uh, maybe they're not filming any new screen movies. The it's just a, a West Craven new nightmare where the cast members are being targeted and they're targeting people from the old movies. And then Elise Neal might be one of the victims. Maybe she's the opening kill. So that's the only way I could see Hallie coming back at this point, seeing Elise Neal reprise her role. Of course, many people have said we're always talking about Stu coming back or hate or Kirby coming back. Hallie could possibly come back. Well, Hallie was pretty much lifeless when Ghostface let her go before she dropped to the floor she was lifeless her corpse was not moving now again of course that probably doesn't mean anything to a lot of people who want to hold out hope that somehow some way Hallie could come back I've said it in plenty of videos in the past Hallie shouldn't have died I, or just one video the character of Hallie shouldn't have died I I'm not I'm getting real tired of Sydney's best friends being killed off Sydney needs somebody there with her besides just Dewey and Gail somebody who she can confide into outside of just dewey and gail it would be nice to of course like i made mention of build up some dynamics outside of just our our main trio of characters so she basically had this to say this is what elise neil said she said i mean i'll be down if i got the call i'd be down absolutely love the whole thing rest in peace to Wes craven he was such a great person but you know the fans of the screen franchise have not died down and i would probably and i would absolutely love it uh, and she made it she made it a, a point to point out to the uh, person interviewing her to add this into the interview she had this interview with two fab the same interview matthew lillard had where he said he would love to return in a screen movie but i don't see those characters returning at this point unless it's done in a in a west craven new nightmare type of way which i don't really think is something a lot of fans would want to see and when i say a lot of fans i'm talking about the vast majority i think a vast majority would want to just rather jump back into this pick up from screen four or just keep it set in that reality somehow don't make it like west craven's new nightmare i feel like we've waited so long we want to see an actual story get continued from where we left off we don't want to see anything done in the style that's kind of saying hey screen four was a failure uh screen three was a failure let's let's just do this and act like they never happened i don't think a lot of fans want that myself included but it's really interesting to see or it'll be interesting to see when we actually finally get some concrete news on this david arquette is basically his lips are locked he threw away the key he won't tell us anything uh still haven't heard anything about courtney cox i believe today is her birthday so happy birthday to her or unless it was yesterday but i believe it's today so happy birthday to her uh well possibly at the time of this recording when i upload it it'll be yesterday <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future uh, and then of course down in the comment section i'm gonna have a link to the facebook group join that facebook group please if you want to stay up to date on anything regarding this franchise anything regarding any other horror to horror discussions because you guys can join that group and talk amongst each other it's a it's a group i made for this channel so please join it with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video